So in this video, we're going to show you how to take softwood cuttings. The plant we're going to propagate today is our argoranthemum, also known as marguerite. It's May time, it's time to do it. Let's get on with it. Hello, welcome to John Horsey Horticulture. We're here to help you develop your gardening skills, such as showing you how to propagate, how to grow vegetables, how to prune, and much, much more. So if you enjoy learning those things, do consider following us by pressing the subscribe button. There's no charge, and don't forget to press that all important notification bell. It just lets you know every time we upload a new video. What I'm gonna to do today is take some more cuttings off of this um, argoranthemum, also known as marguerites. Um, these plants natives of the Canaries and places like that. Sometimes they'll come through the winter, sometimes they don't. Uh, we took some last, last autumn, um, but now I'm going to take a few more. Uh, it's looking really well. <laughs> We've had hardly any frost this year, and it's looking really very, very good. So what I'm looking for on, on this plant are hopefully some non-flowering uh, shoots, which is highly unlikely because of the nature of the beast, it continually flowers. But if I take a piece off like, I'm going to take a piece off, rather I'll cut it up. Okay. That's going to be what, so three inches, that's going to be fine for a cutting. I'm looking for bits that are, are fairly firm, they're still green. This is softwood cuttings, they're, they're, you know, they're new in the year. But um, they should root quite well at this stage. Um, trying not to sort of spoil the look of the plant too much, but it will recover. It grows away like the bilio. And what you can do sometimes, I've, I've been just cutting pieces off. Some people take what we call a heel cutting. So a heel cutting is when I pe peel a piece off like that. It doesn't make an awful lot of difference in my experience, but uh, some people claim that all the cambium which is going up through the veins of the plant is concentrated on that heel, and that's why it'll root better. But we'll, we'll put both in and see how it goes. That's three, let's do four, shall we? Let's get another one down there. That's lovely. And one more for good luck. We'll take one off of there. These are Largorantamums. They have all got flower buds in. I know it seems really cruel, but we have to get rid of those, those buds. Otherwise the effort will go into making a flower, not a plant. So I'm gonna go down there and just pinch out the, 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 the flower buds. And what I've got there is a nice little plant, which will now shoot out from the sides. I'm looking for a plant which is gonna be about a, a, a cutting, it's about three inches long. So work your way down. We'll start taking off the bottom leaves. Pull the bottom leaves off. Take them off nice and cleanly if you can. And there's, there's a nice little cutting. What you need to do is to, is to cut it just below a node. Now the nodes are where the swellings are, where the leaves come out. The place where the uh, leaf comes off is the node. And if we take a cutting below that, and we'll get the extra cambium, which it, it, you get because of the cambium uh, tubes, as they come up, they split off to go up to the leaf. And if you get it below a node, you'll get an extra dose of, um, of, of cambium, which will help rooting. So we just trim it off below there. Oh, I'm gonna give, always, always give me a knife a, sh a quick sharpen before we start. Uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. One, two. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. One, two. That way I keep a nice edge on it. And there we are, just below the nice clean cut. And there we are, there's my little plant. Pinch the tip out, throw that away, peel off the leaves. There we are. So you you want to leave enough leaves for it to grow, but not so much that it will lose, that they'll, they'll they'll transpire too much. So there we are. Find, there's the nose. There's the nose just there. Nice clean cut. Good idea to have a sharp knife. And there we go. And now I'm going to try that to this one. Again, pull the bottom pieces off. This one's got a bend in it, so I'll try and get below the bend before I cut it. It goes leaves off. There's the bud coming out. Sorry, sorry about that. End of a flower, but never mind. It'll grow on a lot better for this. And I'm going to just take it below that node. See the node there? Just all cut below a node. And below a node. About three or four inches long, the cutting is best to be. Here we go. We'll try the heel cutting. Um, so we'll put it in as it is. So we'll take away some of the, the, the lower leaves as before, and we'll take out the flower bud as before. But with this heel cutting, we'll just tidy up the heel. Can you see there where, where it's, been, it's been ripped off? And there's the node, it's, it's actually damaged the plant really. And there's the, there's, there's the heel as it were. And I'm just gonna tidy that up below there, okay? Finally, 
Okay, now we're going to pop these cuttings on before before it gets too hot. Um, I've got a bit of johnniness here. I put a bit of extra grit in it. But I'm also going to put some general purpose uh, fertilizer. It's supposed to be peat free, and that will just just sort of give a little bit of um, moisture retention. What you're trying to do here, as is in most aspects of gardening, is you want to have a free draining compost, but it's got to have the moisture in it because the plants want the moisture and they want the air and that is one of the most difficult things about horticulture getting that that mixture right but here we are this is quite a nice uh, that looks good and I'm just going to now I can use my hand make a little hole in there pinch it down by the side firm it in and there it goes And what we'll do is we'll put the one which was the heel in the middle so we know where it was. Right, there we are. Now what I'm going to do next is most important is get these out of the sun, give them a good water, put them in a shady spot and just give them a chance to recover. And then um, I should keep them fairly, fairly um, humid as I can. Um, I've actually got a sealed tank. A, 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 a bag helps to keep, keep the moisture in. But do watch out for this time of year because they do get very hot very, very quickly. Well, that's all for today. Thank you very much for watching. We do hope you enjoyed that. If you did, do consider subscribing to our channel and don't forget to press that all-important notification bell. It just lets you know every time we upload a new video. Thank you for joining us in our Somerset garden. We very much enjoyed having you. Until next time.